Hey everyone, Nick here from Gluten Free For You. And we've got an After Effects tutorial for you that some people have been requesting. We're going to be showing you today how you can create a clone effect. And you're going to need to do this a tripod for best result and also a camera that you're going to lock down in there. And you're going to take two video clips without moving the camera. So here's what we've got. We've got uh, these two clips. And this one, Ben walks in there and he talks. He's on this side of the room. Then on the other one, Oops. Try this clip. Alright, so then on the other one here, you've got him coming in there. So you can see, one of the most important things to this is that he's going to be on this side of the room, and his clone is going to be right here. You don't want him to be inter uh, the two clips to be lapping over each other because we're going to do some masking and some other cool stuff with this. So let's get started. Alright, so to start off, drag your first clip on there. This will be your background clip. I guess you call it the master clip. Now take your rectangle selection tool and with your uh, clip selected drag across but like this. Well actually for this clip, for this effect we're not going to need to do anything to this clip. Drag on top of that your second clip and go ahead and mask out that guy. Alright, so now you've got them both in there play that through. Give it a quick render. There's various different ways to do this effect. This is the quickest and easiest way and I like it the best because you get the cleanest look. Now the other option here is that you can go over to your green, if you got a green screen, you can green screen your um, footage and you see there's a little mistake there. I'm going to need to keyframe this mask to show up later on and drag the clip over a little bit because otherwise you're going to have them lapping over each other. So that's one thing that you need to be careful of doing when you're uh, doing this. So let's go ahead and take this clip on top and make sure that it doesn't that clip doesn't start until he's all the way over there. Yes, yeah, so that looks pretty good. And so, the, like I was saying, the second way to do this is that with the green screen, you can green screen your guy, and you can key them out with some a plugin like Key Light or do it in Final Cut Pro or something, gives you some real clean one. But um, you're always going to have a little bit of fuzz running around for the most part if you're doing a green screen. And so it doesn't look quite as clean as just masking out the two separate clips with the tripod does. And you can keep doing this as many times as you want to for ver for more people. Just drop on another clip, mask them out, and drag the clip over to make sure they don't overlap. And if you wanted to, say, get this guy, maybe he's going to reach out into that clip a little bit more during while he's talking just go ahead and take your pen tool and add a, po a couple points to that mask take your uh, selection tool and you can go ahead and move these points around individually to move that over if you're going to uh, if you have maybe a chunky shape or something or you could mask it out around him if you've got more clones going on so anyway, that's some of the basics of clone, of uh, doing clone effects and after effects. But now my uh, favorite way to do this, it requires no software at all, and just a camera, and just takes one shot. Just call up your um, your evil twin, and ask him if he wants to be in your next video. It's a lot easier than doing an after effects. All right, thanks for watching. If you don't have an evil twin, I guess you'll be following this tutorial. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and post your um. If you've done an effect with this, go and post it below as a video response. I'd love to see what you guys did. All right.